All right, we're kicking off day five here. Uh, yesterday, we kind of buttoned up a lot of the exposed metal, and to do any more buttoning up, we actually need to finish our upper cabinets. So that is the next step. We are officially moving on to cabinetry. I'm gonna be running around back and forth doing a lot of measuring, a lot of cutting. And I believe Scarlett is gonna be doing some prep and some paint work today on our little trim pieces that need to go in. So stay tuned. about to paint the walls in here. We left the subfloor, we intentionally did not do the floor of the van, just so that if any paint or anything gets on it, we don't really need it right now, and so that we can still have our outline of everything. Show you guys what I'm working on over here, which is cabinetry. So we've got our side pieces fit in just like that. I cut the top and the bottom section right here. But basically, I measured from from that side of the van to here, and from that side of the van to here. Same point on both walls. Divided by two because there's two walls, and that's the uh, that's the angle right there. the cabinet progress is at. It's coming together. This one is the most difficult one because what we're doing is overhanging it right here. So it'll come slightly out past this, which means you gotta clean all that up and do all that. And then it also has this back corner, which is a bit of an issue. So we are going to get the trim up right here first, which means I gotta wire in these lights. Sand and paint, sand and paint, huh? Oh yeah, you know the drill. Oh, she is, the paint lady herself. I've been working over here. This is the upper cabinet that'll go on that side, and now it's time to do the one that'll go down to right there. tracing out some of the pieces right on a piece of wood because we are doing the same cabinets on the other side. Um, and that side will actually be easier because it won't have all this mess going on down here. So anyway, tracing them on so that I can then kind of copy them and invert them to the other side. gun jammed so I took it apart got real jacked up so I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's have fun big guy oh, now I get to clean All right, the first 
section of cabinetry, which is the upper cabinets, are assembled. They're not really done. They still need to be wood filled and painted and all that before we install them. But they are done. This is what we're looking at this time. I think they came out pretty good. It took a while. These ones always take a while. You got to figure out this fun little section down here, um, which is what fits up to all the weird body lines inside these vans. And I just like to do that because I'm obsessed with the light. If the couch is six feet long, I want these cabinets to be exactly six feet long. This one was actually pretty easy. Once you have one, it's really smooth sailing from there. That one was definitely more difficult. I think we're done for the day. At least they're here ready for wood filler, I think. Right? So I think the bill is officially starting to catch up to us. Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long five days now, end of day five here. It does not feel like day five though. It feels like... It feels like we've been working on the van for weeks. Yeah. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. Now granted, we've been pulling like 10, 12 hour days. I know as you watch, it's like, oh, they have power tools, they have table saws. Like we built Lewis in a parking lot with one saw and one drill. So I've been there. Scarlet's been there. We feel. <laughs> so yeah, got the walls painted. They're looking great. Yeah. Thank you, paint department. Oh yeah. I'll be in cabinet mode for the next few days. We'll catch you tomorrow for day six. Good morning. As you can see, we've got kind of an informal uh, mount going on with our upper cabinets. We wanted to just get them fitted up there and see how they look because I'm gonna go ahead and wood fill and paint them today. Today we are gonna start on the kitchen area. Well, Seth is. And I don't know what you're gonna do. Day six, Lula. What do you think? All right, so what I'm doing right here is drilling out the holes so we can put our little underhead lights. We're gonna use the same puff lights that we used on the ceiling up there. And basically those will be mounted. If you notice, I'm drilling these ones farther out. This is the front of the cabinet on that side. And we're gonna build like kind of a little bump down shelf in the future for this cabinet. This is the unit that goes over the kitchen. I break to make us some lunch. I just wanted to show you guys what the cabinets are looking like. So these are our uppers and I went ahead and wood filled the bottom um, that you will see and then the sides as well. And then inside, I think Seth got some footage of it, but along all the seams and cracks, I went in with this stuff, Dynaflex. And that works really well. You can just squeeze it into all the seams and cracks and then take a wet rag and just wipe along. And obviously no need to wood fill that. So it's pretty hard to get a sander in all those areas. It's pretty hard to get a sander in all of those areas, which is why I love using that stuff. And then in terms of the wood filler, I know I've talked about this. This is the one my soul loves. Um, we only just found it this build a little late to the game, but it's beautiful. And so after lunch, I'll come back and sand these, but I'm just giving them time to dry. Over here, you can see we have the walls. So these are like kind of cut out to fit in like so. You'll see why there's little pieces of plywood down here later on. But now we're working on the face frame. So basically this is gonna go up onto the front and this is what's gonna divide our drawers. Faces of the drawers will sit on this rather than there being like a empty gap. 
behind them. Using the old uh, Craig jig, I just got the clamp on one, which I actually find is a little bit faster because you can just clamp it on like this. This will be linked down below. It's very, very useful when you're building cabinets. Got pocket holes right there. This is gonna save Squirrel a lot of time wood filling. Base frame is complete. So essentially, the idea is that there will be sections of drawers that fit in there. The tops are gonna actually be tables that slide out, um, two of them, and those will be in the back of the van. And then the bottom will be larger drawers that will only be about 20 inches deep because the wheel well sits back there. Um, and then the middle is about like an eight inch drawer, six inch, something like that. So anyway, the idea of a face frame is to kind of clean up the gaps behind everything. We're gonna to try to make the vertical gaps pretty seamless, so it's gonna be very, very close together, similar to the last build. I make lunch and this is what happens? I should make lunch more often, huh? So one of the things that we have learned from doing multiple vans now is that it's very important to leave yourself a little bit of room for stuff like water pumps and plumbing and all that. So that's what we're doing on this one. Basically, this whole little section over here behind this wall right here is for the plumbing. Um, this will be access because this is all going to get closed off for the most part. Um, this will be access to the water pump which is gonna sit on this wall right here so that you can open this drawer and essentially access the water pump and the wiring if something goes wrong with the pump or you know, whatever down the line you wanna change something out. Just makes it a little bit easier to access. Two things I will say that have made this ridiculously easy compared to the past where we've only had access to one saw or like very limited resources are this little Milwaukee 12 volt saw um, this thing is awesome and I just made like all those cuts with it too and it's just super vital to get into those weird places and then the track saw has also been like instrumental in cutting all these weird shapes and contours and everything. Table saws are great and awesome and everything but you can only cut straight lines and miter saws only cut to about a foot at the most so if you have something bigger than that the track saw is the way to go. All right, end of day six here. It's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Felt like a big one, at least. Yeah. We're allotting a decent portion of the next few days, probably four to six days, I would say, just for cabinetry alone. It is the most intensive, like, overall process of a van build, so we just want to give ourselves enough time to not really get super stressed about it. Yep. And do it right. Yeah, it takes time to figure it all out and match all the curves of the specific van that we're using so and then once you get the cabinetry done then you have to like prep it for paint and then actually paint it before you can even put it in the van so it takes a lot of time yeah it's quite an intense process so 
that was day six. That will be day seven and day eight and day nine and probably day ten at least. <laughs> so uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.